Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate a really simple way to screenshot website URLs using a special Cloudmersive document conversion connector action in Power Automate. This is a useful tool for a lot of day-to-day -day documentation scenarios like website supported maintenance, for example, but probably the biggest benefit is security. When we encounter suspicious links, we obviously don't want to click on them, so this connector will let you peek behind the curtain and see what the web page looks like. It will render a 1280 by 1024 PNG image by default, and you can customize that height and width to whatever specification you want when configuring the request parameters. Let's run through a quick demo to see how this works. To start, I'm creating an instant cloud flow and giving it a name, and then I'm selecting the option to manually trigger and clicking create at the bottom of the page. Now that we're on the flow diagram page, we can jump right into configuring the URL screenshot action. After we click new step, all we need to do is type Cloudmersive into the search bar and then select the Cloudmersive document conversion connector with the green logo from the list of options below. Once we click on this, we'll jump to the actions list and from here we can search screenshot of URL or something similar to that and we'll see our action come up right away. Please note that if you haven't used a Cloudmersive connector before, you'll be prompted to name your connection and include an API key at this stage. You can use this connector for free. All you need is a free tier Cloudmersive API key, which you can get by registering a free account on our website, cloudmersive.com. That's also the website URL I'm going to use to demonstrate, so we can make sure the link is what I claim it is. Now it's time we configure the URL screenshot request parameters. As you can see, we have four distinct fields to fill out here. The only mandatory one is the URL field, so I'm first copying my website link into that field. At the top, we have a field which we can use to specify any extra loading time our website might need, which is really just intended for highly asynchronous websites. Below that, we have two additional fields labeled screenshot height and screenshot width. As I mentioned earlier, the screenshot will default to 1280 by 1024 pixels, but you can easily change this and standardize new dimensions however much you want. You can also enter the value negative one in both fields if you want this connector to measure the entire URL page and take one long skinny screenshot instead. I'm going to leave all three of these optional fields blank for now so you can see what the generic output looks like. Our final step is to generate our PNG file. So I'm quickly setting up a SharePoint create file action and specifying a few details for my new file. To parse the output of this flow, we just need to click on the File Content field and select Output Content from the Dynamic Content window, which contains the encoding for our new PNG file. Once we do that, the flow is finished, so we can save and begin testing. After our flow finishes saving, we can click Test in the upper right corner, confirm our connections, and finally run the flow to make sure it works. Once the flow finishes running, we can take a look at our new PNG file to ensure the operation was successful. As you can see, I have a new PNG screenshot in the folder I specified, and when I open it, we can see that the Cloudmersive homepage is fully rendered. The small issue here is just the dimensions. The standard screenshot size squished the page a little bit, so it looks a little different here than it would on most desktop browsers. That's no big deal, however, because like we discussed earlier, we can easily adjust our screenshot height and width as much as we need to. Most importantly, from this action we found out that the link I provided was safe, without putting our network at risk whatsoever. With our test complete, we've reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more Power Automate demonstrations in the near future.